In this video, we'll delve into the devastating events of September 11, 2001, a day that left an indelible mark on the world. Our story unfolds on a clear, sunny morning in New York City. It was September 11, 2001, a day that would change the world forever. It is lunchtime in London, 5 a.m. in Los Angeles, and 8 a.m. here in New York. The bustling city was going about its usual business, unaware of the impending horror. At 8.46 a.m., American Airlines Flight 11, fully loaded with innocent passengers, crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. The impact was a deafening explosion that shattered the serene morning, and the world watched in disbelief as thick plumes of black smoke billowed from the skyscraper. This, Justin, you are looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. Just moments later, at 9.03 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175, another civilian jet transformed into a weapon, struck the South Tower. Another plane just hit. Right? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Another plane has just hit. It hit another building. Flew right into the middle of it. Explosion. The nation's collective heart sank as the second tower was engulfed in a fiery inferno. It was abundantly clear that this was no accident. America was under attack. Meanwhile, President George W. Bush was visiting an elementary school in Sarasota, Florida, reading to a group of children. He was informed of the attacks, and in the midst of chaos, the president assumed the weight of leadership. The shock and horror deepened when, at 9.37 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon in Arlington, Virginia, the symbol of the nation's military strength and defense. Meanwhile, brave passengers aboard United Airlines Flight 93, which had been hijacked by terrorists, mounted a heroic last-ditch effort to regain control of the plane. In a field in Pennsylvania at 10.03 a.m., Flight 93 crashed, preventing another devastating attack and leaving an indelible mark of courage and sacrifice. A few minutes earlier, the Twin Towers, towering symbols of American prosperity and freedom, began to crumble. First, at 9.59 a.m., the South Tower fell in a colossal cloud of dust and debris, sending shockwaves of despair across the nation. A huge explosion now raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! The North Tower followed, collapsing at 10.28 a.m., taking with it the hopes and dreams of thousands, along with the world's sense of invulnerability. In the span of just a few hours, nearly 3,000 lives were lost, and the United States was plunged into mourning, anger, and determination. We will not tire, we will not falter, and we will not fail. The responsibility for these attacks was claimed by the terrorist group Al-Qaeda, led by Osama bin Laden, marking the beginning of a new chapter in global security. If you found this video enlightening, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, history is not just a record of events. It's a testament to our resilience in the face of the darkest tragedies.